Hey guys, this is Art Matthews, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to mix um, udon noodles from Costco. And we're gonna stir fry it. Pak choy from Costco. What you're gonna need is some hoisin sauce. You can find that at any supermarket in the Asian section. Some scallion cilantro and some shrimp I got these frozen Costco so guys check it out let me boil some water see my little mini grill okay what we're gonna do is open this and we're gonna boil it and then we're gonna strain it Save this, this is what we're going to add. Okay, just put this here for now because the water's not boiled yet. Do the second one. This is serving for three or four. So if you're buying this at Costco and you're afraid you might not like it or you don't know what to do with it. It's for, it's a soup, but what I'm gonna do is just show you guys how to stir fry it. So. Okay, I'm gonna wait for the water to boil. Boil the water and then strain it. Go ahead. Got the bok choy. Stand them up. Let it steam. Don't worry about the leaves. Let it boil for two minutes because you don't want to overcook these things. As you can see, I'm using a box cutter, a new one, I mean, a new blade. It's the best way to cut these things. Cuts like butter, guys. Just watch your fingers. Outdoor cooking. Okay, I got the pop choy cooking. Check it out. You don't want to overcook these things. They're perfect like this. Ooh, lucky I got gloves on. Okay, set to your side, look. Set to your side, let it cool. Okay, put this to your side. Cilantro, some scallion onions chopped. And now I got the water going. Use the same water Put your noodles in there. Okay, you want to just let it break. 
the reason I'm doing this is because when it comes in the package, it got like a, the original oil they put in there. So it's kind of oily. You just want to rinse it. Well, you want to cook it and rinse it at the same time. And that process, it breaks the noodle apart. You loosen them up from sticking. Oil. Okay, I got my pop choy. What I want to do is just slice it right in the middle. Yes, a knife would be good, but hey, we got to work what we got right here. Work what we have right now. Right on part. These will be good with saute and butter. It's almost like I blanched them. I didn't cook them all the way. Okay, bring these to a boil. Okay, I have these two boil. These two buckets, I mean, these two bowls the original came in. Do is fill it in, pour it in here, save the hot water. Okay. As you can tell, I'm gonna use the same water. Put this here. Use this same one because I want to cook the shrimp in it now. This way you don't have to wait until the water boils every time. Okay? Got the shrimp clean. It's probably like good pound and a half. That's a good issue. Okay, here's your um, noodles set to the side because I want to need this for the shrimp. Close it, let it steam. Got to my pan, got this for the shrimp. Okay, on the pan, I got to dry it. Put a little bit of vegetable oil. If you have olive oil, be good. Okay, you don't want to overcook this because it always tastes rubbery. We're done with that water. Got my skillet. Vegetable oil. A little pepper on this. Let me move this, make it look nice. Cilantro, put the noodles, put the shrimp, a little salt. Okay, this is done. All right guys, I got this important while you're cooking on the roll condiments from panda soy sauce sriracha some syrup from Kentucky Fried Chicken keep them all because they're good 
Okay, and uh, the udon noodle, what they come with. Soy sauce and uh, kind of like dry vegetables. Okay, get the pan skillet going. Get the little onion going right here. Shrimp going. Oh, got a little shell here too. Pepper. You like it hot? Add more. Add the packet seasoning. Udon package seasoning. No, I use this chopstick. Best tool in town. Okay, we want to add the little garlic horse in. Remember, you get it. That looks like some honey. Okay, noodles. And one package from the udon noodle, soy. Oh man, it's just jumping out. You want to make sure it blends in good, mixed in good. Oh yeah, look at that. Make sure all you're being incorporated. Okay, let me make it more presentable. Food start jumping out everywhere. It looks terrible. Okay, got that. Smell that. Okay. Add a little heat. Sriracha. Not too much because it'd be too spicy for everybody. Add the rest of the onion. Sorry, it's not cut nice, uniform, but you know what? This is camping style. Okay, let me turn down the heat. Low, done.
Gotta taste it first. Let me see. Oh yeah. I'm serving, making it for three. You can stir fry it in there too, but I'm going this way with it. One, two, three, four. On the side, I should serve the noodles. Get this shrimp out here. These two are my guests, so they get good issue. I know it's for the video, so I'm not making that much. But at home, you could go crazy. Okay, put this inside so the kitchen works. A little cilantro, cilantro, but sitting outside, so we kind of Ooh. lighten up a little bit. But you know what? For this whole wood, I would pick the best cilantro. Enjoy. All right, guys, that's our Matthews. That's my udon noodle special, stir fry with shrimp. If you guys like it, leave a comment down below. If you guys already subscribed, press the bell so you guys can see my next video. Hope you guys like my little um, dish I just made. Um, there'll be more of it. What I like to do is go to Costco and um, let's say hack the food they have make it better to me sometimes a lot of the stuff are frozen or packaged tastes just like package but the way i turn it out comes out like gourmet maybe that's my new name our matthews gourmet dishes <laughs>